Okay. So before we talk about the implant retained denture and the all on X comparison, let's take a step back and just look at a full denture so we can kind of step up as we go. So in this case, this is a full upper denture. And the first thing you notice is all of this material here. This is where the palate, the roof of your mouth is going to be. And all of that is covered. So if this is your mouth following the removal of teeth, the denture extends all the way back to what we call the soft palate. So what is this doing? For a lot of people, it's going to trigger a gag reflex because it does come so far back. And because it's covering the entire roof of your mouth, you're going to alter the taste of food. One, because your tongue is in constant contact with the material, which is where most of your taste buds are in the tongue. And this is going to start to harbor some bacteria over time. So between the material itself and the bacteria within it, it's going to alter the taste of foods. And then you also have taste buds in other areas. So you have some in the soft palate, which is going to be covered. So it's going to alter the taste of foods. And because of all of this material, it could alter speech as well. Um, one of the disadvantages, in, a, in addition to what I've already said, is there's nothing to help maintain healthy bone. So over time, bone is going to be lost. This denture is going to have to be relined multiple times. And eventually, you may not have enough bone to hold this in place. Now, let's take a look. So now let's take a look at a implant over denture, implant retained denture. Um, and I'm going to look at the lower arch instead of the upper arch because the lower arch, the lower denture is usually the one that people have the most trouble with. So if you don't have a gag reflex and you don't mind things uh, changing the taste of foods, an upper denture can usually stay in place because of that extension going back to the soft palate. But we don't have that luxury on the lower arch. It's just this little horseshoe shape of bone and you've got the tongue down here. So when you're eating and you're talking, it's constantly working against you. And a lot of times this denture is not going to stay in place. So with as little as two implants, you're going to achieve so many things with this. The first thing is this implant is going to help maintain healthy bone. So you're going to help maintain the bone, which is going to allow you the ability to keep this denture in place for decades to come, as opposed to a regular denture that over time you're going to continue to lose bone and not be able to keep that denture in. So you've got this little attachment in the mouth, this little gold piece here, that's a locator abutment. And then this little silver piece here is actually going to be housed in the denture in these two little relieved areas. And this is going to allow, when you put this denture on, it's going to snap into place. So it's going to give you some stability as opposed to a regular denture that is completely reliant on the tissues. Now, the more implants you can get, the better. But the standard of care and the minimum I recommend with if, if you find yourself in need of something for the lower arch or having to have all these teeth removed, at least two implants, this is going to help you tremendously. So with an implant retained denture, over denture, you can get up to 30 to 40% more chewing efficiency as opposed to the 30% or less in a regular denture. Um, with the upper denture, if you got an implant over denture, you're going to be able to remove some of the palate here. Um, not all cases can you remove all of the palate, but in most cases you can remove some of the palate. So let's now take a look at an all on X procedure. Now an all on X procedure, we're placing four to six implants. In this case, we're placing six. So you're going to maintain healthy bone all along the way here and this is an upper arch so you are going to be able to eliminate all of the roof of the mouth so if you can see here just compare the two there it's just the teeth nothing in the palate so you're not going to trigger a gag reflex the tongue is going to be able to make contact with the roof of the mouth you're going to be able to taste your foods it's not going to affect speech like the full denture and it's not going to trigger, you know, that gag reflex. So both the implant overdenture and the all on X procedure are using implants to hold the teeth in place. So both of these options 
are going to help maintain healthy bone. The all on X, all on four, all on six, whatever you want to call it here, this option, this is going to be a fixed option. This, it's still a set of dentures. It's just using snaps now instead of tissue for support. So it is going to be more secure. It's going to increase your chewing efficiency somewhat. And it is going to maintain bone, but it's removable. So every night before you go to bed, you're going to want to take this out. After every meal, you're probably going to want to take it out, rinse underneath it, make sure everything's clean. This, this option here, this is screw retained. So that's what those little holes are for. So everywhere where there's an implant, this is going to seat on those little attachments there, and it's going to be screwed into place, and then there's going to be a permanent filling material placed in these holes and polished that's going to match the teeth, and it doesn't come out. So this by far is one of the nicest options. It's a fixed option. You're not taking this out. Only your dentist can take this out. And it's going to restore nearly 100% of your chewing efficiency. The other thing is the materials itself. Now, not all materials are created equal, and there are so many materials out there. But in this case, this is not the finished product just yet, but this is a full zirconia restoration. So this is a great product. I've got a video. This is one of the most popular products. I've got a video about how this compares to another product we offer, which is the Dreamline product. So if you want to check that out, uh, feel free to do so. I'll include the link here. But basically, if you find yourself in a position of losing either all of your upper teeth, lower teeth, or a full mouth of teeth, you've, you've got three options, three of the most popular options. You either go the full denture, the implant over denture, or the all on X procedure. And the all on X procedure is going to give you all of the benefits of the implant over denture procedure. Plus, you're going to be able to eliminate the roof of the mouth coverage. This is a fixed option. It does not come out. The materials are far superior to an implant over denture, and it's going to restore 100% of your chewing function. If you want a summary, uh, just click the link below, and I've included a PDF summary how a conventional denture versus an over denture and how those compare to the All on X procedure.